Money Matters, presented by Cruz Financial Group. Welcome back to Money Matters. And joining me now, of course, is Joe Cruz himself. Thank you so much for being yeah. with us. And yeah. so we are talking about dying yeah. without a will. Yeah. Not a good thing to do. No. <laughs> it really is not. And if, you, if a person dies without a will, it's called dying intestate. And you really, all of us have a will, whether we have a, one draft or not, because every state, uh, different state laws has a succession plan and dying intestate of what's going to happen to your estate. The downside of dying without a will is you might not have your desires met. You know, so, so what happens is if I, I pass away without a will, well, the court's going to appoint an executor. If, it, if I'm married, it's going to go to my wife, obviously. But it doesn't give me the opportunity to choose where, where, where are my kids going. And so the intestate laws in most states, and they're all a little bit different, but they say, okay, we're going to, lick, we're going to set up a probate, we're going to appoint the executor, we're going to liquidate property, we're going to pay off debts, we, got to, we do have to do an inventory as well, pay the debts off, and then, okay, we got kids involved, and so where are the kids going? The court will appoint a guardian. Mm -hmm. And then the, the law says, okay, we're going to give these assets to the kids. What happens if they're minors? Yeah. And so now the court's going to appoint a conservator to watch the uh, minors, uh, watch over the mi uh, minors' assets, basically. Yeah. So, but so it's something. It, it just makes some sense, even if you don't think you have a large estate. Go get a will. You know, there's plenty of good attorneys here in Sioux City.